As you can see there, she's able to use this target stick to move Gina all across the beat following the end of it. Now the C-Line, they can't tell the difference in between the two colours, but they can tell the difference in shade. And as the training progresses, the trainers are able to move on to just using their hands as targets or as signals. So you can see that Kirsty using her hand as a target now and as a signal, and Gina's still perfectly happy to follow along with it. Now this kind of training is most important for health checks. So Kirsty there, she's able to ask Gina to lie down at the back of the beach. Now this will give Kirsty the really good opportunity to give Gina a nice thorough health check. So check her over for any lumps, bumps, scrapes or bruises. You can even ask Gina to roll over as well. Now this means they can do an ultra scan to check to see if she was pregnant without having to restrain her. As you can see there, Gina, she's perfectly happy to let Kirsty examine her because it's just part of their daily health check routine there so it's not causing her any stress at all which is really important so how is gina doing today kirsty she's in perfect health fantastic stuff i think when gina gets back to her stand i think she might want a big round of applause there for passing that health check so here at the zoo as well we want to encourage as many natural behaviors as we possibly can with our sea lions so out in the wild, they would be hunting for lots and lots of fish. Now there's no fish in our pool, but we can best replicate it using some props. So first of all, Kirsty here, she's got some hoop props. And because the sea lions have forward facing eyes and binocular vision, it means they can judge speed and distance. So the speed and distance of the fish traveling around in the ocean, or in this case, the hoops traveling towards Gina there. So that means they can use their long, powerful, flexible neck there and catch those hoops just as if they were catching fish out in the wild. So a big round of applause there for Gina for showing us a fantastic eyesight there. But of course we do want to make sure this is as natural and as stimulating as we can make it for our sea lions. So Kirsty's going to ask Gina to enter the water there. I'm just going to send these hoops out to her. So this will give Gina a really good opportunity now to show you guys just how incredible her reflexes and her eyesight is. So she's able to judge where those hoops are going to land, which means she can use her fantastic agility there in the water to swim around and catch those hoops. So props like this are a really good way of making sure our sea lions are being kept physically and mentally stimulated. So a big round of applause there for Gina because she did a fantastic job showing us those incredible reflexes that she has. So if the water was murky or if it was dark or if the sea lions were unable to see for a different reason, there is something else they can use to help them catch those fish and that is in fact their whiskers. So the sea lions have got extremely sensitive whiskers and we can best exercise them using this ball prop. So this kind of behaviour is really difficult to do. It can take months and months. Oops. <laughs> I think it's a little bit windy with the ball. There. I don't think Annie was quite ready to be passed back to it there by Gina. So the sea lions, they can pass it between themselves there. And Anya there, she's rescued it for us. There we go. So they can pass it between themselves once they're both paying attention there. <laughs> Big round of applause there. So the sea lions there, they were using those incredible whiskers of theirs to feel around the ball and balance it perfectly there on the end of their noses. But of course, just like with the hoops, they want to make sure it's as natural and as stimulating as we can possibly make it for our sea lions. So we're going to take the balls down to the water. Kirsty's going to throw his balls into the water. Our sea lions can locate them, feeling for the vibrations using those whiskers. But using their eyesight to see where they're going, they're going to head up back towards the front of the beach there and up to their stands. And then pass the balls back. Over to Anya there and then back to Kirsty. So a bit there for Anya and Gina because it's a really difficult behaviour that they're able to do. So sea lions will be hunting over 50 different types of...